hello all so uh, and in s education uh, we decided that we will take the complete uh, syllabus of physics chemistry mathematics and biology specifically of science of class 9th and 10th you will get complete set of uh, your syllabus in our channel from now onwards so the first video of that this series of free course uh, we are starting with the physics and the name of the chapter is uh, i will say optics or you can say the study of light got it it is of the uh, first chapter of physics of class 10th if you can see i am going to discuss about the first part of this uh, particular concept so before starting uh, let me explain that as optics is nothing but the study of light it is nothing but the study of light so when we talk about the study of light we are talking about the properties of light first so if you will see i have written already here the properties of light okay so first is what light is an electromagnetic wave means you are having the electric component you are also having the magnetic component and both are placing each other simultaneously and they are represented in the form of a wave if you will see here that i am drawing a wave here but you will see the white line i am written it is electric field means the component is electric field that means if you are going to draw it okay i am just explaining here if you are going to draw it this is on the plane and when i am going to talk about this particular green one the dotted one which is written as magnetic field the magnetic field is practically coming out of the plane coming out of the plane and going behind that means this white one is on the plane on the plane this one is perpendicularly coming out of the plane and this one is perpendicularly going inside the plane or inside my screen understand this part so you need to be very much careful while going through this analysis got it so for now in class 10th no need to go more into this wave, wave aspect i just drew it so that you will get a clear a clarification of idea what i am going to talk about second what is the second point light travels in a straight line path if you can see the draw I'm, i have drawn this diagram we will represent light to be a straight line path structure we call it as a ray clear and this arrowhead is representing where the light is traveling and this straight line path motion of the light is called as rectilinear propagation rectilinear propagation of light you have to remember this very clearly light travels in a straight line path it is called rectilinear propagation of light understood okay now come to the second third point the speed of light in vacuum try to write this spelling correctly v s e w m a speed of light in vacuum is 3 times 10 power 8 meter per second or sometimes people write it 3 lakh kilometer per hour got it and it is the maximum value known to us till death that light is traveling with this much we don't know whether light can travel higher than this there is no solid practical proof about it or the theoretical proof about it but generally we know up to this for class 10th no you need to dig up a lot then the next property is light does not need a material medium when i am saying material medium that means if i am going to talk about the sound which you read in class 9th is it so when you are talking about the sound wave you say that sound wave needs an object for example i am saying you in a room if i am going to talk about i am talking and you are here you are listening so in between there is air so sound needs a medium to propagate but in case of light light does not need any kind of medium to propagate and the best example is light is traveling from the sun to the earth and between sun and the earth you are getting only space or vacuum got it next the light source properties like reflection refraction dispersion interference diffraction polarization you in your syllabus you have these three when you will go to class 12th you will read about them just know the name so when you will go to class 12th when teacher will ask kuch malum hai ki nahi tum ko, then you can at least say that we heard this word somewhere got it okay the next one so let's start with this concept of reflection of light okay so first one is reflection of light reflection that means when light falls on a smooth surface when i am saying smooth i am talking about this a flat one where there is no irregularities means the surface is not like this this is the irregular surface or rough surface this is the polished 
or sometime also called as smooth surface here we can observe the reflection light very clearly why we will let study later on and this phenomenon so the definition i am writing here the phenomenon when light traveling from a medium returns back to the same medium after striking at a reflecting surface is called reflection means if you will analyze the definition let us say this one is a reflecting surface this is the incident ray as i said light traveling from a medium let us say this is air light is now coming along the path io it is coming after hitting at point o it is again going back in the path of or and here it is also air so the light is coming from air striking at a point which is the reflecting uh, surface it is on the reflecting surface and it is also uh, considered to be your uh, point of incidence where the light is hitting the surface got it and the light ray is going out it is again going back to the air so when the light is coming from a medium and light is again going back to the same medium then we call it to be reflection and if you will see the diagram i have drawn one normal this is the perpendicular i am drawing and this perpendicular drawing is the reason so that we can calculate that the incident ray makes how much angle when it is hitting the point o after hitting point o the reflected ray this one this reflected ray or is making how much angle with the normal this is called angle of incidence got it r is called angle of reflection understood this part so this is <coughs> what the basic is now this reflection law depends upon two particular concept one is called the first law of reflection the first law of reflection is simply the concept of reflection like the incident ray which is your io the reflected ray which is your or and the normal which is your no to the point of incidence all lie in one plane got it so they all lie in one plane means if you are going to talk about this as a plane they are considered to be lying on a single plane if i will take x y as the plane then the reflection is happening here so as we know in physics we talk about the coordinate systems accordingly we say it is on the plane but the second law says the angle of incidence which is your i must be equal to the angle of reflection which is your r so if the light ray is coming with an angle of 30 degree it will always go with an angle of 30 degree only if the surface is polished hope so in the first part i explained about a very small portion of the optics part go through it and slowly you will get all the portions of your 9th and 10th uh, physics chemistry maths and bio in your youtube in our youtube channel it is also completely free so students are requested to go through it clearly so that they will get a very clarification of very much clear clarification about the concept what they are going to attend in their exams okay so keep updated thank you